You see a beautiful woman, but something inside you stops you from approaching her and just saying hi. Maybe it's a butterfly feeling in your stomach, or maybe you feel paralyzed with fear. Now imagine that you could approach almost any woman with very little fear or hesitation. What would that do for your life? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you think. The truth is that most guys never approach. If you're one of those guys, then you're missing tons of opportunities. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and these are my top three proven ways to eliminate your approach anxiety. I'm Matt. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. Hey man, before I get into the tips, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I have a lot of videos for you to help you meet and attract your dream woman. I also want to give you a free confidence cheat sheet that gives you 18 different ways to boost your confidence and become fearless. Check out the link down in the description to download your free confidence cheat sheet. Approach anxiety can be super frustrating and pretty much every guy on the planet experiences it to some degree. The first way to overcome your approach anxiety is to to experience it fully. Instead of trying to fight it, which is kind of the natural reaction, right? You have those unpleasant, unwanted feelings, you wanna fight it and kind of try to talk yourself into it, but instead, experience it fully. Embrace those unwanted negative feelings. Just allow yourself to just feel it, feel that turning sensation in your stomach or that paralyzing feeling. Just breathe into it. Take a deep breath and just feel it. Feel it in your body and understand and remind yourself that that feeling will soon pass. You can even describe the feelings to yourself. Like you can stand there for a second and say, okay, I have that kind of churning sensation in the pit of my stomach. I, I can almost, I can't breathe. You know, my heart's beating faster. Just kind of describe the, you know, the negative sensation to yourself. And believe it or not, that really helps. Because when you do that, you're just acknowledging that this is just a part of you, right? Feelings happen. We can't really control all of our emotions. And instead of, you know, trying to fight it and, and feeling shame for feeling that, you know, maybe insecurity or nervousness that you're feeling, you're just embracing it. You're saying, this is who I am, you know, it's natural because it actually is. It's your reptile brain going into the fight or flight response, even though you're not in a dangerous situation. Your stupid reptile brain doesn't know that it's not a dangerous situation, it doesn't know that you're not a caveman anymore and that approaching a beautiful woman is not going to get you kicked out of the tribe. But just understand that that feeling is normal and just embrace it, feel it, and you'll either be able to respond despite the negative feeling, like you'll be able to approach her anyway, or eventually, you know, doing that every time you have that, that negative sensation, eventually it just starts to diminish. It just starts to go away. Extended periods of mindful meditation are also great for this because what you're doing, let's say you're meditating for like 30 minutes to an hour, it's gonna be painful after about 15 minutes. Your back is gonna start hurting, your legs are gonna start cramping up, but there's nothing you can do. You wanna stay in that position and just be mindful, be present, and again, experience that sen sensation fully, knowing that soon it will pass. And same thing, eventually it becomes manageable. The pain might not go away, but it becomes manageable. Another thing you can do is cold showers and try to be present and mindful and grounded while you're taking the shower because it's gonna be painful, just like those painful feelings inside you, the nervousness or fear when you see the woman, it's gonna be you know, the, like shards of glass coming at you. Uh, when you're taking that cold shower, but allow yourself to just be present, be mindful, and experience it fully, and you will actually start to enjoy the cold showers. You know, some people like, I think his name's like the Iceman, he can go into like ice cold water for a really long periods of time, and he claims to actually enjoy it. And what's key when you're doing this, whether it's the approach anxiety, or you're practicing the meditation, or the cold showers, is that you breathe into it. You take a deep breath, and you hold it with a long, like, 10 second exhale. And just allow yourself to become really present, really grounded, and experience whatever it is in that moment, and it will pass and no longer be an issue. Hey man, just a reminder, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to download your free confidence cheat sheet. Number two is progressive desensitization, which is just 
basically a fancy way of saying taking small steps, baby steps. So for example, if you had a fear of spiders, you might start off with whatever is like the smallest thing you're comfortable with, which might be just looking at a picture of a spider even in the distance, and then eventually you get it closer and that's not so bad. And then eventually we move on to a real spider, but it's on, in the corner of the room in, in a cage. And eventually we move the cage closer to the middle. And eventually the cage is in your hand. Eventually you're like, okay, it's okay. And eventually, you know, the spider's in your hand. When it comes to approaching women, it, you might start with just the thought of approaching women. That might scare you and you just have to think about it a bunch of times until that doesn't scare you. And then you just start walking towards beautiful women. You don't even talk to them. You just walk towards them. 50 times maybe until that's no big deal and every time you get close to them you just turn around walk the other way you know veer to a different direction eventually that's no big deal and then you start asking for directions would be the next step ask them where starbucks is do that 20 or more times until that's like an easy you know easy thing to do it gives you very little anxiety and then move to the next thing which might be asking for directions then taking it a little bit further eventually you move into going direct and then having longer interactions and eventually you're getting phone numbers and even instant dates. So it's just starting with the first step, the thing that you know, just scares you a little bit, get comfortable with that, and then keep pushing yourself moving on quicker and quicker. And that's exactly what our academy program does. It takes you wherever you're at right now and just every week expands your comfort zone until you're comfortable doing things that previously were way outside your comfort zone. And number three, I really like this one. It's called the no pressure approach, which instead of seeing a beautiful woman and putting all this pressure on yourself that you have to go direct and make her day and then keep the conversation going and then hopefully get a phone number and hopefully she's attracted to you and so forth, right? Which seems like a lot of work and a lot of pressure. Instead, you don't think any of those things and you just think of it as kind of like a warm up approach. Like you're just gonna ask her some basic functional question, like asking her for directions and that's it. It's kind of like a chicken exit on a roller coaster, right? Instead of thinking, oh, I gotta go on that roller coaster right now, you think of what's the first step. Well, I gotta just wait in line. So if you're freaking out about the roller coaster, just convince yourself at least to wait in line for 30 minutes until you get to the top and then you can decide if you want to go further or not. You can always take that chicken exit. So when you start the approach by just saying, hey, there's a beautiful woman, I'm just going to ask her where something is, I'm going to ask her where Starbucks is and if she gives me a great reaction, if she smiles, even if she says yes or no, it doesn't matter, but as long as she seems like she has a good vibe, a good energy, then maybe I'll take it further. Maybe I'll say, actually, I'm not even looking for that. I just thought you're really pretty and I just wanted to tell you. Something like that. But it gives you the option to bail, right? You can go up to her and thinking, okay, I'm just gonna give her direction. I'm just gonna ask for directions. I'm not gonna do anything else. Maybe if she's, you know, has a good energy, I'll take it further, but I don't have to, right? You take all that pressure away and of course, if you decide not to take it further, maybe she gives you an answer like, no, I'm sorry, I don't know where it is and just doesn't seem like she's in a very good day, then it's no big deal. You say, okay, have an awesome day, thanks. And you know, she's on her, on her way, but at least you did something. At least you took action. So that's what the no pressure approach is all about. It's just kind of convincing your brain to take some action, to at least ask her for directions and then deciding if you want to take it further or not. And even if you decide not to the first five or 10 times, eventually you'll, you'll convince yourself to take it further. You'll get so bored of just asking every girl for directions, you'll realize, okay, I might as well take it one step further, especially if she has a pleasant vibe. And like I said, it's a way of you just kind of testing out to see you know, kind of her energy, what her vibe is. Some girls light up and smile just when you ask them for directions. So it's a great way for you to start seeing that you know women are friendly, women are approachable, and it will get you over your approach anxiety. So if you have approach anxiety, then do this, man. Do all three of these techniques and your approach anxiety will be no more, I promise you. There's so many opportunities. 
I want you to start taking them. Hey man, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more dating tips and click that bell notification icon. And make sure to get your free copy of the Confidence Cheat Sheet. Click the link in the description or to the right of the screen because it has 18 different ways to overcome fear and boost your confidence with women or really any situation that makes you nervous. So get your copy right now. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man and I'll see you in the next video.